to Inspire Method Marketing. We're here today to talk about a really important topic for your business and any business. And that is the problem, the vision, the mission, and the values that you hold and how you can communicate that to your ideal clients. My name is Karen and this is my husband Trevor. Hello. <laughs> and we are the co-founders of Inspire Method Marketing. So today I'm going to start with a quote from Gary Vaynerchuk. Maybe you've heard of him. If not, go look up his stuff. He's pretty amazing when it comes to marketing. He says, you must choose an area where you can win. No, scratch that. Not just win, but absolutely dominate. After all, don't we have enough mediocre podcasts around? True. And mediocre bakeries and mediocre electrical companies, mediocre everything. Yeah, just insert your business in there. <laughs> So statistically, 89% of business-to-business -business marketers say brand awareness is the most important goal, followed by sales and lead generation. And that comes from Content Marketing Institution. The problem that we see with clients we meet with is that they try to create a brand before they even know who they are and what they stand for. That's kind of a big problem. Mm -hmm. Huge. So why is it important to understand the problem we're trying to solve before anything else when it comes to our business? Well, the whole reason that somebody engages with a company, let's say you're going shopping for anything. What do you go shopping for? Shoes. Shoes. But shopping for shoes. So the reason that people go shopping or want to buy anything is to solve a problem, right? Problem is you need one more pair of shoes. <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> or groceries, or electrical services, or make life easier for yourself. So it's very important for companies to really understand what they're doing, the reason that they're in business, and what is the biggest problem that you're solving for your customers. So that I think is the foundational spot from where every business would start from is like, who am I? and what problem am I solving? Hmm, that's good. So why is it important for your company vision to be forward-looking? Well, it's super important because what your vision needs to do is give you a, a marker into the future as to what you're wanting to accomplish. So our vision is to transform the digital footprint of a thousand businesses. So that is always in the forefront of our mind, and that is the goal and target we're wanting to reach. So it's very important for a business to have targets to reach and to achieve, so that you're not just aimlessly wandering about, um, not knowing where you want to go or why you want to get there. So you have to have a very specific vision for the future of your company. And also, it's vital that people in your organization know that too. Mm, that's a really good point. So why is it important for that vision to have a number attached to it? Well, if you don't have a number, you can't measure it, right? And statistically, what gets measured gets results. So if you are not um, measuring and counting down um, how many people you're helping or um, whether it's a dollar value or how many people you want to help like ours, if you're not measuring that and getting those metrics, then how will you know when you've achieved it? And maybe you've set your targets too low and you're, you're ramping up and now you can set an even larger target and increase and expand that vision. So it's super important that you have a, a value attached. Okay, so if a vision is forward looking, what is a mission? Good question. Um, mission is the day-to-day, -day, um, what you're going to do, the boots on the ground, how you're going to go forward to achieve your vision. So for instance, we want to reach and transform a thousand businesses. Our mission talks about what we're going to do in order to make that happen. So with our mission, it is, Karen? <laughs> to inspire businesses to tell their unique story so that they can transform and attract the hearts of their customers. Perfect. So it's how a business goes about doing and completing their vision. So it's super, super important to have that in the forefront of your minds moving forward on a daily basis. 
So I kind of rattled that off as our mission. It's uh, quick, easy, but um, will employees remember long problem vision and mission statements? Um, I'm going to say no, because even have, trying to make it as short and concise as possible is the key. So that it's easily transferable to your employees, to all the stakeholders in the business, easy to remember, and whenever they run into a, an issue or a problem that they're trying to solve, they can just go back to, okay, what is our vision, what is our mission, and what problem are we trying to solve? And moving forward with all your business initiatives, people will understand easily and quickly when it's concise. Good point. What are business values? Business values. Well, business values are what I would call the core beliefs and what you hold value, like valuable to your company. So, for instance, things like how you treat employees, how you service customers, how you go about doing everything. So, some of our values include if it's right for the customer, it's right for the company. And, you know, being high energy is better than low energy and things like that so that when we are interacting with our clients and with people within our organization it is evident by what we do and who we are how that message is communicated so for instance if your value is to always do what's right for the customer always be um, honest and provide high value then that is something that you can transmute and transmit in all of your marketing materials. Not only marketing materials, but in the attitudes and buy-in of your employees and uh, stakeholders in the business. And that gets put out to the marketplace and to your customers by not just what you say, but what you do. And that's more important. So having a list of these values that you can um, read and have into your mind and into your heart on a daily basis will just help you make those decisions going forward um, with every client interaction. Okay. Are these problem, vision, and mission statements for the customer or employees? Well, um, they're for both. They're for both. Like I mentioned in, in the last question at the end there, having these problem, vision, mission, and values laid out. They're important for every employee and every stakeholder to really grasp on and understand and, and live out every day. Because then when they pick up the phone or they're answering an email or they get a, an irate customer coming at them, they can remember, okay, this is, this is my value, this is what we do as a company, this is how we do things. So I'm going to respond this way. So really, the decision is made ahead of time how someone is going to respond to an irritated customer and a happy customer or someone who is completely unfamiliar with your business at all. And for the customer, if they understand and you're able to live out these values in front of them, then they gain more confidence and faith in, in your company. How can having these statements written down help make decisions? Well, if you don't write something down and you just say things, then it's harder for people to actually remember, right? So having them written down for somewhere in your business, or you can, what we did at one company is we had them written down on a, a little card so that it would be a reminder for people what our, our visions and values are. So it's very important because we forget, like we, we've got the attention span of less than a goldfish right now. So um, to think that we're going to remember all these values day in and day out, it's not going to happen. So going over them in a daily meeting or, or having them on your website, um, posted in, in different places, super uh, valuable for you to remember yourself and also for any when you're onboarding new people. If that is put out in front of them, then it's easier for them to catch on to what you're wanting to do and what you're all about. Why is it important to write out who you are before you start making that logo? Oh man. <laughs> well, the, the, the problem being is, is a, in a couple of ways. One, you might have this you know, killer logo, 
but it doesn't match your brand. Like, it's just different. It's like, you know, apples, we sell apples, but my logo is in orange. It, it just doesn't make any sense. So you'd be spending a lot of money to re rebrand. Let's say you've got your trucks all done, or shirts, or hats, or whatnot, and it completely doesn't match who you are as, as a company. So there's that. Um, and another example as to why you wouldn't do that, um, it's like putting a cart before the horse thing, right? So that's the best way that I can describe it. You just should never invest a bunch of money in getting a fancy logo and putting all of these uh, you know, things out there when you don't understand who you are. And you may also damage your brand by um, putting something out there and then change it. People will be confused, so it cause confusion with your, your current customers. Yeah, okay. Can you think of any other reasons? Um, no, I think you covered it pretty good. Awesome. So how does having these statements help you with recruiting new employees? Well, that's a really good question because what will happen is when you put out the ad, they're going to check the website. They're going to take a look. And Nine times out of ten, they're going to be looking through your website a little more thoroughly than someone who is maybe looking to hire you or buy your product. So they want to learn more about your company to see if it aligns with their values, right? So people nowadays, especially millennials, they want to have a connection with a company and be a part of something that's bigger than just a product. So it's very, very important that you have this laid out and written down on your website and when people are wanting to join your team, you have to communicate your values to them so that they um, know, number one, who you are, what you're all about, and if you line up with their values. Because if you don't, they're not going to be fit for you and you're not going to be fit for them. So it's just going to end badly anyways. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's it for today. We have covered all the uh, ins and outs of creating uh, all those statements that include your problem that you solve, the vision that you have, your mission and your values. So thanks for joining us today and we will have more great videos for you coming soon. Thanks. Bye.